Julian Kennicott's day is off to a chilly start. He's testing a sensor he built as part of his science fair project. He's measuring particulate matter in the air linked to engine idling. So this is a good place to do this study because of the pickup and drop off times. Those are when people are going to be idling the most. They're going to be waiting. So-called PM or particle pollution is a big issue in Salt Lake City in the state of Utah. What looks like haze is actually tiny particles in the air, so small you can breathe them in. Shay Wickelson is Julian's chemistry teacher. The majority of it is from cars and trucks. For kids growing up in Salt Lake, it's, it's a part of their lives. We end up getting inversions, and the cold air gets trapped down here in the valley, and you end up getting these pollution events. Chemical engineer Carrie Kelly is with the University of Utah. With support from the National Science Foundation, they're partnering with citizen scientists to build up a network of air quality sensors all over the area. They call it Air U. We have sensors up at schools. We have sensors in the homes of students. We have sensors out at other community locations. And we try to get a good distribution in terms of elevation, in terms of different types of land use, and different types of socioeconomic levels. The goal is to monitor for particulate matter pollution and make the data available to everyone in a real-time, easy-to-understand format. So each one of those dots corresponds to one of the sensors in our network. Remember that sensor from Julian's science project? He got it from the AIRU team. I would recommend putting your sensor together before you wire it. The teams visited Julian's school to lead a crash course on how to build sensors using Legos. Many of the instructors are undergraduates. Some, like freshman Katrina Lee, started as a high school intern. She helped develop the Lego module. We started off with another idea where we were trying to use Tic Tac boxes instead of um, the Legos, but then we thought the Legos would be a wonderful idea to just engage the students. For Kelly, this is about nurturing science literacy at the grassroots level. Here in Utah and many places throughout the country, air quality is a really pressing problem. And if we're going to make good decisions about air quality, we need to educate the next generation of decision makers. And getting citizen scientists excited early on can lead to a cleaner future. Kevin Enix, VOA News.